The most common branding mistakes that companies make are generally they're listening to their retailers. They're not necessarily listening to the end user, the customer. Uh, prime example is BlackBerry. You know, BlackBerry didn't want to really go after the kid who wanted the smartphone and wanted all the other type of products on their devices. So what they wanted to do was they wanted to just do what Sprint and AT&T wanted, and that wasn't necessarily in their best interest. For the brands out there, including myself, that want to follow some of those big boys and girls, the key is, first of all, product is king. Number one, whatever you're putting out, you have to be really, really in love with your product and make sure it's as best as it can be developed. And you're always going to try to improve on it. And they always say the easiest thing to sell is the truth. Second of all, it goes back to loving your customer and really knowing what they want because your customer will change. Your customer will change and they'll grow older and new customers will come aboard, but you have to really value what they want in their brand. And then the third is to take a lot of chances and understand that as a brand that you're going to fail several, several times because you know you can't always predict the future, but no matter what, your customer values you for the chances that you took.